Witajcie. Dzisiaj naszym gościem jest Tim Lederman, legendarny guru multituli, człowiek, który wynalazł to narzędzie, który rozwinął to narzędzie i generalnie rzecz biorąc jest człowiekiem, który spowodował, że większość z nas dzisiaj nosi takie urządzenia ze sobą. Dzięki uprzejmości Militaria.pl mamy przyjemność przeprowadzić wywiad z Timem i mam nadzieję, że pytania, które dzisiaj zadamy, będą dla Was interesujące. Pierwsze pytanie do Tima to pytanie o to, jak zacząłeś swój biznes i jak wpadłeś na pomysł czegoś, co dzisiaj nazywamy multitulem. The idea for the Leatherman tool came when my wife and I were young and we took a budget trip to Europe, including coming through Eastern Poland and Eastern Europe. And I was carrying a pocket knife, but often needed pliers. So the idea was to add a pair of pliers to a pocket knife. And when we returned, uh, we th I then spent the next uh, eight years in my garage uh, developing the tool and looking for a customer. The first tool to come to the market was called the Leatherman Pocket Survival Tool. And at the end of the eight years, the tool had evolved into that design and we found a customer and decided to start our own company to manufacture the tool to supply the customer and any other customers who wanted to order. Mm -hmm. uh, in how many countries Leatherman is present today? Today, a Leatherman is sold in more than 70 countries around the world. Tim, czy mógłbyś nam powiedzieć, ile multituli zaprojektowałeś do dzisiaj? Currently, the company has 40 different models on the market, and we've had many that have been retired over the years. So altogether, I would say we have more than more than 60 different Leatherman tools have come onto the market okay. over the last 32 years. The best seller today is the Leatherman Wave. Kto w waszej firmie zajmuje się wymyślaniem tych wszystkich wspaniałych narzędzi? Czy to jesteś ty, człowiek wizjoner, czy pracuje nad tym cały zespół? Originally the design for the Leatherman tool came out of one person's mind. It was just me who wanted, wanted to build one tool and I had this vision of what I wanted. Uh, today it's much different. Uh, today the designs for the Leatherman tool come a lot of the, the come a lot of the designs for the Leatherman tool uh, comes from customer feedback. Mm -hmm. Customers tell us that the Leatherman tool is almost perfect, but if you just had these these one more or two more things, this would be a tool that would be even more perfect for us. Okay. So, uh, how big is uh, let's say the development team? Today, the development team at Leatherman is more than seven engineers. That's just the engineers, and then uh -huh. there's the machinists and the and the draftsmen and the designers as well. Powszechnie uważa się, że multitule nie są specjalnie najpiękniejsze, bo generalnie nie mają być piękne, mają służyć do konkretnych celów. Są nam potrzebne w wielu różnych dziwnych sytuacjach. Natomiast chciałbym się zapytać o to. W jaki sposób wypracowaliście takie produkty jak Treadle, Skeletool albo Freestyle? The uh, Skeletool is a good example of a tool where customers wanted a tool that was very basic, all you need and nothing more. And they wanted lightweight, so we took out all the metal that wasn't needed and thus the name Skeletool. Okay. In the case of the Tread, Uh, customers uh, wanted a t Leatherman tool that they can carry on an airplane. And thus, the, one of our most brilliant designers came up with the idea that you could wear 25 tools on your wrist. Okay. And it's okay to wear it, take it on an airplane. Uh -huh. do, you, do you make any marketing research regarding new products? I mean, <coughs> you are testing them or something like that? We do some marketing research. We certainly appreciate uh, feedback from the customers, but for the most part, we, our marketing research is to make a tool, offer it to the market, and see what you say. Uh, jak dzisiaj widzisz uh, przyszłość uh, multituli? Jako człowiek, który od tylu lat zajmuje się produkcją tych fantastycznych narzędzi, bo tak jak powiedziałem wcześniej, dla wielu z nas jest to 
najczęściej coś w miarę ciężkiego i dużego noszonego w kieszeni, a to, co masz na ręku, wygląda zupełnie inaczej. Czy to będzie przyszłość multitool? In, in the design of Leatherman tools, uh, customers ask for more features and a stronger tool, but they ask, also ask for lighter weight and less smaller size. And those are hard things to balance, but uh, we're always trying to create the optimum situation. And also the future of multi-tools I see evolving as the way things are made and the way things are assembled and the way things are repaired, then the multi-tool has to change in order to be able to accomplish the purpose. Uh, for example, in the future, instead of uh, joining two pieces together with a screw, and thus we need a screwdriver in our Leatherman tool, maybe in the future things are joined with glue, and we need a glue dispenser mm -hmm. in our Leatherman tool. Or maybe in the future, uh, when you want to separate two things, now we use a blade, but maybe in the future you'll need uh, a laser. So maybe in the future a Leatherman tool will have to have a laser for cutting instead of a, a blade. Thank you very much for those information. Right now I want to ask you to present us two, your, your two new, new products, I mean mm -hmm. this and the... Signal. So let's go and see them. Okay, let's do it. I'd like to present the Leatherman Tread. It's a Leatherman tool that you can, in which you can wear 25 tools on your wrist. There's a cutter. There's a SIM card remover for your telephone. A glass breaker. If you witness an accident, you can break the glass and then use the cutter to cut the seat belt and save the person. There's various uh, drivers and wrenches on each link. One of the, uh, there's even a, a device to open your bottle of beer. One of the uh, nice features of the tread is that if you are using, no, let's say you're going to, uh, you need to work on your bicycle and you know you need a six millimeter wrench. Well then you can turn the tool over, see on the back the size, no, that's five millimeter. I need to go to the next one. Ah, here's six millimeter. Now I can use it to turn the, the, the screw. The driver is at the end the handle of the, the bracelet is used as the handle. The bracelet is made of a stainless steel. It's 17.4 pH stainless steel, so it's quite corrosion resistant and quite strong. The tool actually is very, very, uh, works when you need it. Another nice feature of the tread is that it can be adjusted and you don't need to buy another Leatherman tool in order to make the adjustment. You can take a coin and turn the screw and, and then uh, take a link out or change the order of the links. But I like to wear the, uh, the tread is fun and I like to wear it loose. And when you wear it loose, it's just fun to wear. You, you're turning it, you're playing with it, you're it's, it's um, really a joy to have on your wrist. The story of how the tread came to be is quite interesting. The, our superstar designer uh, took his family to Disneyland. And of course he was wearing his Leatherman tool, but the guards would not let him in. So he thought there must be a way that I can have a Leatherman tool and bring it into Disneyland. And he came back and worked for a while and the tread is the result. And as an extra benefit of the tread, you can not only take it into Disneyland, you can also take it on an airplane. We've been taking it on airplanes all around the world for many months now and, and no problem. Uh, most of the weight has been removed from the tread, so it's not very heavy. It's just like wearing a, a heavy watch. It's not, not heavy at all. 
You can see how even inside the links, the space has been removed. It, it even adds a function. You can put in the Leatherman bit extender. And then use the bracelet as a handle for a screwdriver. It comes in uh, two, two colors. The basic model is the stainless steel. And then the deluxe model is uh, the stainless steel covered with a DLC coating, a diamond carbon-like coating. It's very durable. It, the, tread, the tread will be available in time to, for Polish people to buy it as a Christmas gift this year. The new Leatherman signal is designed especially for outdoor use. It has uh, several survival features and several features that are very useful for uh, when you're out camping. So as most Leatherman tools do, it has a pair of pliers, has the insertable wire cutters, comfortable handles. On the back, it has a hammer. So when you set up your tent and need to, uh, need to put in the stakes, you can use the hammer to pound down the tent stakes. <coughs> it has a way of carrying, has a carabiner. And if you cl have it uh, clipped, then it's possible that the handle would come out. So the solution for that is there's a little uh, lever here that locks the handle, it won't come apart. <coughs> it has a, there's some very nice engineering in the tread. In, in the Leatherman signal. There's a sharpening stone, diamond sharpening stone. It won't, it won't come out accidentally because you, you press this lever and then that allows it to come out. <laughs> and then you can use the sharpening stone to sharpen a blade or an arrowhead or an ax or whatever you need to sharpen. Also in the tread, is a survival feature. There's a fire starter and at this end is a whistle. As you can see there's also a saw in the tread. The blade locks and unlocks and then there's a knife blade with a serrated edge and standard edge. It can be worn either as a carabiner or with a clip. And inside are several more blades. There's what there's a screwdriver. The screwdriver is reversible. The screwdriver locks and the unlock is to push this lever and the screwdriver unlocks. There's also a can and bottle opener with a wire stripper and a punch for if you're out riding and you need to put a new hole in your belt or need to do some sewing, you have, this, have the awl and the punch. This is the Leatherman signal. Hi, uh, this is Tim Leatherman. The first and only time I was in Poland was almost 40 years ago, almost 40 years to the day. And I'm very happy to, be, to finally come back and see this beautiful country. Our Leatherman tools are now available here in Poland. I welcome you to come and see them at the Militaria stores.